Manitoba, has a serious worker shortage problem. In January 2023, there were 150,000 new jobs in Canada. Only 800 of those were in Manitoba. Neighboring Saskatchewan, with a smaller population, gained 4,500 jobs. In 2022, more than 22,000 people will move from Manitoba to another province, a 42% increase over 2021. There has been a recent shortage of jobs across the province. Doctors of Manitoba recently released a report highlighting that the province has the lowest number of family physicians per capita in Canada. The group also reports that two out of five doctors plan to retire, quit or reduce clinic hours over the next three years. The Winnipeg Regional Health Authority reports that the vacancy rate for home care workers is 20%. Winnipeg is having trouble finding lifeguards and attendants, and some pools are having to cut hours of operation. Why is Manitoba having trouble attracting new workers to the province? There are many reasons, but the obvious problem is that Manitoba is uncompetitive compared to the rest of the country. Whenever health care and related job shortages are mentioned, a complex plan to address them usually follows. For example, late last year the Manitoba government announced $200 million to attract, retain and train more health care workers. Likewise, if you're a freshly graduated engineer or other professional choosing between working in Winnipeg or any other city in the country Manitoba is inferior to other provinces in almost every way. Manitobans have one of the highest tax burdens in the country. For example, a Winnipeg family earning $75,000 a year will pay about $7,148 in provincial taxes. That's almost $3,000 more than in Regina or Toronto, and twice as much as in Calgary or Vancouver. Property taxes are no better. Winnipeg residents pay just over $3,000 in property taxes on a $250,000 home. That's hundreds of dollars more than each of the above cities. In Manitoba, the business income tax is 12%. That's the same as in Saskatchewan and British Columbia, but half a percent more than in Ontario and 4% more than in Alberta. If the information in the video was interesting and helpful to you, please like this video and subscribe. If you have any questions concerning the content of the video or any suggestions for the next videos, please write about it in the comments. Good luck and see you on Winnipeg channel.